Hey there, happy Monday. Welcome back to Money Loves Death Metal. And today I've got an awesome video. I was pretty excited to film this. Uh, but I've got some really underground, obscure death metal to talk about today from Doom 2 Obscurity Records. So, yeah, if you're not familiar with this label, this is essentially a label spotlight behind them. Going to show you where to buy their stuff. Going to talk about some releases that they currently have out. Uh, David from over there reached out to me on Facebook and said, hey, would love to send you some stuff. Would love you to listen to some of these releases that I've been doing. Talked about his label with me for a little bit. And after going and looking through and seeing what he's released and and the type of music that's on there. Because sometimes labels do that and it's just not really my cup of tea. It's not really what I want to talk about on the channel. And I'll respectfully tell them, like, mm, not right now. Uh, maybe, maybe another time. Um, just depends. It hasn't happened in a while, but he reached out to me about a week ago now and these came super fast so i just got these on friday so i was shocked at how fast they came uh and we talked back and forth and he sent me a couple of releases that i'm going to talk about today show off and then of course show you where to buy them so doomed to obscurity records is this independent record label that focuses on releasing primarily death metal um that hasn't been reissued uh so obscure underground death metal um pretty much that it was issued at one point in time and hasn't been in a long time. So these are releases that you would see on Ken's Death Metal Crypt because that guy probably has the releases of all of these somehow uh, and they've never been re-released. Um, so pretty cool concept. I wish there are a lot more labels around that were doing that. Uh, I know Intuit Records has been doing that lately for a lot of things, um, but this was pretty cool. So I was excited for that reason because I knew he was going to send me stuff that I'd never heard. And that's exactly what happened. So a lot of these releases on the uh, label, I have never heard of some of these bands or most of these bands. There's a couple of things I, I, when I saw it, I was like, oh, cool. Awesome. And so now I need to go and make a purchase because um, there's some things on here that I am familiar with, probably from Ken, uh, that I have listened to on YouTube and didn't have access to. So Gotta go through there. There's my pup. He just made a little appearance. I don't know if you caught that little body walking by. Um, so he sent to me over four releases that he thought I would like. And the cool thing about this is, is that he added notes into each one of them. So I've got little personalized notes written for all of them. So let's go ahead and talk about it. And then I'll show you where to go. Buy these things, show you the, the band camp page and stuff like that. So the first release that he sent me was this one. And this is Dethroned with creating heavenly impurities so this was one that i was not familiar with this is a demo from 1996 and the band is from new york so it's new york death metal and the note that he wrote in here was uh it's true new york death metal it's a hidden gem it has some typical aspects of the scene but has an overall unique sound that stood out to me and i agree with him this is not your standard new york death metal it's not something that you expect to hear from suffocation it's got a lot of uh, buzzsaw riffs. It's got a very filthy sounding production. You know, it's a 96 demo. So of course it's going to sound a little bit filthy. Uh, and some some like mixtures of brutal death metal, to be honest with you. There's some gurgs in here, like gurgly vocals that almost got that brutal death metal style um, in the like newer vein of brutal death metal. So it's pretty cool release. This was one of the favorite ones that he sent me. I have pretty much... All of them I really enjoy, but this is the one that I found that I listened to a couple of times in the row. Um, I mean, it's a quick listen. It's only uh, six songs, and it's a demo, so, you know, that's what I expected. But, yeah, it's filter production, bus R riffs, uh, really, you know, underground sound. Uh, it's got the gurgs and all that stuff in there. So, this was a pretty cool release. Um, I like the simplicity of the album cover. It really gives you that 1990s death metal demo feel and it's got another cover right here that you can just flip over and maybe use as that as the album cover here's the cd and then here is the back so really nice layouts really good quality of the cd it sounds phenomenal um so yeah there's attention to detail that goes into these releases which is which is cool to see sometimes you get a demo like this in it in like just the overall imagery and stuff like that is is pixelated or not as good and they just they're slapping it together just to get it out there so and then the lyrics are on the inside of the booklet so really nice release of course as soon as i start recording this my landscapers as always right on cue actually not right on cue they're late today it is it is later in the afternoon i am done working and they are out there usually they're out there first thing in the morning so and then on the back of the cd tray 
are the credits and all that stuff. So this was really good. I really enjoyed this. So thank you for sending this. That he knew exactly what I like to listen to. I'm a huge fan of New York death metal. Um, it does have its own sound. New York death metal does have like that sound that you know what I'm talking about. You just know it's a New York death metal band. Um, this one does have a little bit more of a uniqueness to it um, in that regard. So this is a very good, very good release. So check it out. Um, as always, links will be in the description where you can listen to this on Bandcamp and where you can purchase these. So that was the first one in the package. The next one, admittedly, was my favorite one out of all of them. And it ended up being his favorite one, too. This is the one that I really, really enjoyed. This is right up my alley. And this is Umbilical Strangulation, of course. With a name like that, how is it not my favorite? With Necrology is what it's called. So Necrology, there you go. Um, and the note in here, and I believe this is one that he just released not that long ago. He said this is his absolute favorite one that he's put out, also from New York, so some more New York death metal. Uh, they've cried for their own sound. The songwriting is well done and very re-listenable, which I agree on that. So yeah, this is, this is exactly that. It is New York death metal. It is a comp of their demo and EP. So the demo is from 1996 called Destructive Abortion. And then the EP is called Sexually Mutilated. Man, this is not a child-friendly video right now from 1997. So it's a comp of their demo EP. And that's all they've put out. They are no longer together. Same with Dethroned. All of they put out. So again, obscure underground death metal. Um, the one thing that really stands out on me is this. This is just a pure riff fest. Uh, this is not completely overbearing barrage of, of death metal vocals. Uh, in fact, those tend to be the take the back seat on this this is just a lot of guitar riffs a lot of drum pummeling drums that go back and forth straight up jam fest songs is what i like to say so there's the inside there's the band and then here is the booklet and this this uh cover art reminds me of disastrous murmur just just the overall like color aesthetics and the way it is obviously it might i don't think it's the same artist uh, and then in the inside is the lyrics, liner notes and all that stuff. So, yeah. I mean, just the look and feel of this, like, you can just tell this is from the 90s with how the artwork, <laughs> the overall logos, just everything like that. It feels like you're holding an old an old artifact of death metal. Um, but yeah, this one ended up being my favorite one out of the ones that he sent me, uh, which, funny enough, was his favorite one, too. And then... The credits and all that stuff underneath the CD. Um, out of all of these, I would. This is the one that I strongly, strongly should say, like, go buy this. All of these are really good. Definitely go check them out. But this ended up being my favorite one. Really much in the vein of what I want to hear in terms of an underground death metal uh, sound. Uh, it's obviously not the cleanest production, but just so heavy and so, like I said, great riffs. The drums are spectacular and just that really, you really get that underground feel with this too. So this is very, very good. Check this out. This gets the stamp of approval from me for sure. Um, and again, just nothing is bad that I'm showing off, but this ended up being my favorite one. So check that out. Umbilical Strangulation. I mean, with a name like that, of course, it's going to be heavy as hell. <laughs> Uh, the next one is another Disgorge band. No, not that Disgorge band or not that other Disgorge band. This is a brutal death metal band out of Sweden, and this is their 1994 demo called Espousal Bleeding. Es Espousal Bleeding? I think that's how you say that. Uh, so, yeah. Again, never heard of these guys. When I saw Disgorge, I was like, mm, that is not the Disgorge I know. And his note says on here... I know the Black Dahlia Murder is your favorite, so I wanted to add something with some melody. It's still brutal and dark, but has some excellent guitar work, and that is exactly what this is. I would say this is not this is not melodic death metal at all. It does not sound anything like Black Dahlia Murder, so don't think that just because he wrote that in the note. This is definitely brutal death metal, uh, but it does have a little bit of a melodic sound to it in regards to the guitar work on here, and it is very, very dark. I really enjoyed this one too. This is probably my second favorite release on here uh, that he sent me. The one that I probably listened to a lot. Admittedly because he said it was, you know, you're probably a fan of this. But yeah, I mean, simply phenomenal. 
The booklet is just this, so I don't need to take it out and show you. Um, just one little, well, I took it out anyway and showed you. <laughs> just one little page uh, and then pretty simple CD here. But yeah, again, I'd never heard of this. There, I feel like there's so many bands named Disgorge. Well, this one should be have some more ears listening to it. Again, really good brutal death metal. I really enjoyed this. Um, sad that this band didn't create anything else. Uh, and yeah, so was a huge fan of this release in here. So definitely check this one out too. But like I said, all the links and all that will be in the description. Um, and where to find this and then I'll I'll pull up my screen at the end of this video and show you what their band camp looks like. Um, and then finally the last thing in here is a band called Skeletal Remains. And no, it is not that Skeletal Remains. This is Skeletal Remains that is a death thrash band out of Connecticut. Um, so yeah, Legions of the Undead. This is their demo from 1994. This is, in terms of all of these releases, the more raw-sounding death metal uh, release. It's very raw. Like, we're, I'm talking, this sounds like they may have just set up like a little, a little tiny microphone in a room when they played. <laughs> I mean, that's how raw it is. But I really, really enjoyed this. Connecticut death metal right there is what it says. You don't know a whole lot of Connecticut uh, death metal bands. Um, so when he said on this one... Uh, I also kept the hype sticker on there because it said promo copy on there. So I just threw that in the CD. I wasn't able to peel it off the plastic like I'm able to. For this one, he said, this is the very first Skeletal Remains, obviously, and it's actually good. It is good. Um, so he was wondering if I could probably do this as a giveaway um, if I do another one. So I admittedly was like, yeah, sure, I'll do a giveaway. But after listening to it, like, I don't, do I want to give it away? I kind of want to keep it. No, I'm, I'll do it as a giveaway. He's, he mentioned that. I'll definitely do it as a giveaway. Um, I'm going to go spend some money and buy a couple of other releases, and I'll probably throw this one there because I do want to own it. Um, but this is... By far, out of all of these, some of my favorite artwork. I just like the black and white aesthetic. I like the overall layout of this. I think it looks cool. And just, again, you have it in your hands and you just, like, just seeing this and how it's put together makes you feel like it's, you've got the original 90s demo release here. And then the, the artwork is very cool as well. Um, I meant to see, wonder, I was wondering who did the artwork. I forgot to... Layout and design. Roger Harris has done, did the artwork. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Uh, Roger is also in the van. He's the vocalist. So the vocalist did all this artwork around here. So pretty cool. I I really liked this as well. Um, again, not the same skeletal remains that you're used to. Uh, but yeah, this is very raw sounding. It's got that thrashier side to it. Definitely in death metal. Um, and like I said, thrashier. Oh, I just realized. <laughs> That band image, they're all in corpse paint. <laughs> One of them, is, that's pretty funny. Uh, I didn't notice that before. So, yeah, I really liked this. Um, this was really good. And I didn't know that there was another Skeletal Remains band. Admittedly, I did not know that. So when I saw this, I was like, what is this? Is this some sort of like unreleased demo that they never did? And that was such a naive thing to think. Uh, but, yeah. So, there we go. These were the releases that he sent me. But he has released a ton of stuff, a ton of stuff. So let's let's take a look now. Um, let's see here if I can get my uh, my damn computer set up the right way. And unfortunately, I didn't have this set up immediately. I don't know why. Uh, come on. Okay. Alrighty. No not gonna work oh that's right I need to minimize myself so you stop seeing my big dumb face there you go all right let me put this down probably should have done this before I um, you know started recording but we do things on the cuff here we're not professional we're not professional uh, <laughs> streamer or anything like that okay we good to go? We're good to go. Let me get my face a little bit smaller here. And here. So, here is the Doom to Obscurity uh, Bandcamp page. This is where you can preview all these releases that I just showed off. There is the Skeletal Remains. 
there is umbilical strangulation, dethroned. Um, so all of the ones that I just showed you. Um, so yeah, like I said, there's, there's this gorge. There's a lot of releases here. And one thing to note, there is a few releases on here where he has distroed. So obviously coughing curse, necrotum, depigus, like these ones, he did not release paradox, but he does have some distro items on here as well in coffin mulch. But all of the other releases that he has put out um, are there. So if you click on the merch tab, there's also t-shirts and stuff that he has in stock of his releases or other um, releases that are being distroed out like this paradox t-shirt, which is pretty cool, paradox rules. Um, so yeah, but this is where you can get all of the cds and that you know 10 bucks that's pretty cheap that's pretty you know can't go wrong with that uh it looks like not everything that has been released might be available so um we'll have to see in some of these you have to read here uh this is it'll say like where it's from uh if it's because like i said he distros a lot of things as well too but for the most part all of his releases are on here so skeletal remains um so yeah, definitely worth checking out. They're just getting off the ground here. Um, like I said, they're out of Idaho from the US. They do have a Facebook page and on here, he goes into more detail about uh, how he got stuff from Awakening Records. There we go. So yeah, like I said, in the t-shirts and then he talks about his releases on here um, and all that. So make sure you follow him on Facebook and then as well, Instagram. Instagram is same thing, goes into detail, talks about those things. Oh, I'm going to follow him back. I didn't realize he was following me just yet. Um, and then there is also a YouTube page. And on the YouTube page, this is like the gem scrub there where you can go and listen to these on YouTube if you don't want to listen to them on Bandcamp. So if you're working for the day and you just want to pop up the YouTube video, all of the releases are on here too. So go show them some love. Uh, you can listen to the releases on here. I will also link the YouTube uh, links in my description, but everything will be in the description box of where you can get all of this information and where you can listen to these releases. And thank you once again, David, for sending this over to me. Uh, pretty cool stuff. I was super pumped that I, they came fast. I'm definitely going to go and listen to a couple of other items in and put an order in for whatever's available. But make sure to follow them on their social media so you know of new releases that are coming uh, and listen to some of their stuff. And yeah, definitely worth checking out. Good stuff. If you're an underground death metal hunter like I am, you like to have these obscure things in your collection like this is this is right up your alley some good stuff here and people always ask me when i get these kinds of things uh and like similar to ken from ken's death model because he shows off or he used to show off a lot of these things obviously we know uh ken is not going to be actively doing youtube anymore i'm trying to fix my scene now um like do you actually go through and re-listen to all of these obscure things and i do i i honestly do in fact I have demos from like Carcass and all the other bigger bands and I find myself pulling those off and listening to those a little bit more than I do the, like their normal studio albums. So I do listen to these obscure uh, demos. In fact, most of the time of my listening habits, I tend to, to go this way for when I'm working and stuff and this is what I listen to as like background music more so than I do of probably 80% of my collection, which is kind of ridiculous when you think about it. Um, this is the style of death metal that I just really enjoy. There's uh, like something about it that just feels good. Like it's a good feeling. Like there's a self gratification when you find these gems and you get them in your collection or you, you listen to something that you've never heard of and then you go and you're like, oh, I just found the CD on Discogs for $15 and it's only been pressed once and like that's awesome and you grab it. Most of the time it's not $15, a lot of times it's like $100 for that reason. And I don't buy them then, but it is cool that we have labels like this that are doing that now to avoid from that. So yeah, good stuff. So check them out. That's all I have. Happy Monday. Um, couple of other releases today. Uh, and just so you know, Patreon, $1 a month. A new video is going up this week. Stuff I'm not putting on this YouTube channel. Um, so every time I release a Patreon video, I'll let you guys know. Uh, link in the description for that. And that's all I have. I'll see you guys in the next one.